Oh, no joy with a sea eagle, but I don't know if you can hear that in the distance. A heap of yellow-tailed black cockatoos have moved into the pine forest nearby. A big mob of them have uh, already moved on, but sounds like there's quite a few still in amongst the trees up there. I can see a few bobbing around, so going to um, I'm going to go up see if I can get some pictures of the uh, yellow tails, and then uh, move a bit further down the lake and try for the sea eagle. Need a bit of a hard hat in here. I've come into the forest to see if I can see any that are feeding at a reasonable height. Try and get a picture, but they keep dropping pine cones from from the top of the trees and they hit the ground with a thud, so I reckon if any of them hit me in the head, I'd be out cold. So yeah, what an amazing experience though, just be surrounded in this forest by these amazing birds. There's so many of them though that they, some of them just spot me well ahead of it before I get close to any of them and of course raise the alarm and they move to another tree or move a bit higher up. But just gonna find a spot to see if I can sit quietly for a while, see what happens. At least the rain stopped, which is something. So, uh, not sure why I've got these bugs around me. I think I've, I've pressed the button on my uh, my screen recorder and I've got all these little bugs. But anyway, I went to uh, went to Manus Lake recently to uh, photograph sea eagles. On the way, I, uh, I stopped in at Wamagama National Park, uh, which is not far from where I live, and uh, sat in the car park there just having a cuppa and was really rapt to be able to see these buff rump thornbills come down and feed in a, in a bush right near the car. And uh, shortly after them came uh, a few of these brown thornbills. So you see the difference, the, the buff rump thornbills got this pale eye and the, uh, the brown thornbills got that uh, reddish eye and those stripes down the front. But there's a few very similar thornbills to both of those species, but uh, they're the key differences between these two. And then when I got to Manus Lake, which is near Tumbarumba, I sort of just found a spot near the lake and sat down on a rock behind a, a little bit of vegetation to conceal myself and waited for the seagulls to come along. But uh, while I was waiting, these Austra Australasian data came down. I love these birds, they're, they're incredible. They, they sort of swim with their bodies underwater and just their neck and their, their head sticking above the water. To be able to do that, their, their feathers don't have a lot of oil in them. So it doesn't make them very buoyant and enables them to stay under the water while they're hunting. But the downside of that is that when they've uh, been underwater for a while, their feathers get quite waterlogged. And so they've got to come out of the water onto perches and uh, hang their wings out to dry. They can carry on hunting again later on. But this is uh, one of those Australasian darters coming out of the water onto a stump so it can dry its wings. As I was sitting there, this mob of yellowtail black cockatoos came overhead, about 50 of them. And they went and landed in a pine forest right nearby. So I sort of packed up from where I was at the lake, went up to the pine forest to try and photograph these magnificent cockatoos. They're absolutely magnificent and quite large, very large birds. I spent a bit of time photographing them. And while I was there, another mob of about 30 came over. So yeah, the noise was really deafening. And as I was walking through the, the, the pine forest, these pine cones were falling down to the ground and yeah, it was uh, like little missiles being dropped from the trees. I uh, went back down to the lake and again uh, got some pictures of the Australasian data. And then just uh, around the corner a little bit, I, I stopped next to a bridge to photograph some ducks actually. And yeah, I saw this azure kingfisher sort of sitting on this, this log nearby. And it kept darting off and, and hunting, diving into the water and coming back again. So uh, yeah, it's really rapt to be able to get it um, in mid-action as it were. And uh, yeah, a little bit further down, uh, I came across a mob of pigs 
Uh, they're, uh, they're a feral pest animal here in Australia and they uh, cause a lot of environmental damage. But uh, yeah, I stopped to get a couple of pictures of these, uh, these anyway. And then near there, there was, <laughs> there was a sulfur crested cockatoo sitting on a barbed wire fence and I thought, well, I'll stop and get a picture of it. And as I was taking a picture, a, uh, a little Corella came down and shooed it off and took its spot as it were. So, so yes, I got the picture of the, the sulfur crested taking off and then the little Corella uh, taking its place as it were. Uh, down the road a little bit further, this uh, laughing kookaburra, which is, uh, is another kingfisher. It's a large kingfisher, but uh, gets its common name from this really chortling laughing call that it's got. And then, yeah, just a little bit further along, I came across a bigger mob of these sulfur crested cockatoos feeding on these grass seeds right next to the road and just sat there for a little while taking pictures of those and, yeah, really enjoyed doing that as well. So that was pretty much no sea eagles uh, on this particular day, but I will pop up some pictures of the sea eagles that I took on my previous visit there. And, uh, yeah, thanks for watching and uh, I hope you enjoyed uh, seeing Manus Lake as much as I did and... Yeah, hopefully I'll get it back there soon.